Welcome back everybody to the road show this morning in the buzz brought to you by the comedy connection. So we are not far into the season, but people are already discussing what they believe is the song of the summer. That's right. It's an unofficial distinction, although Billboard does have a summer chart now. And currently that chart states, I had some help with Post Malone and Morgan Whalen is number one. That's a good song. Mm -hmm. Followed by a bar song by Shabuzi and Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar. So found on its Billboard global chart is Sabrina Carpenter's Espresso, followed <laughs> by Please, 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 also by Sabrina. And once again, a bar song by Shibuzi. Now, other contenders include Tommy Richmond's A Million Dollar Baby and Billie Eilish's Birds of a Feather. I really like Billie Eilish's Birds of a Feather. If you it haven't heard it, it's, it's a good song. It's not like her, yeah, I'm not going to sing it, but it's <laughs> not like her. the music that you're probably usually used to listening to, listening to from yeah. her. And I, I, really, I really like that song. But... Sabrina Carpenter's song is really catchy. It's really catchy. It's really catchy. I mean, it gets stuck in your head. And, uh -huh. if, you, and if you don't know, you can listen to it. Because <laughs> I'm filling in all this week at <laughs> nights on 92 Pro FM. So you head over there. 7 to 10 is me on Pro <laughs> FM. Um, and, but it really is. Like, the Sabrina Carpenter song is really catchy. Also, um, Taylor Swift and Post Malone. Fortnite is also been a big song too. Yeah, no, I mean that's what we were talking about this morning on uh, in our Facebook lives. That I'm surprised that a lot of Taylor Swift songs right. weren't on the top of the summer charts for the yeah. best song in the summer or the top song. But this espresso, my daughter is obsessed with Sabrina yes. Carpenter. Right. I mean obsessed. Yes. So I've heard please, 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 feather, you know, espresso. Right on repeat multiple multiple times at home i'm telling you this and i say this uh i say this just because taylor swift said it's the summer of sabrina <laughs> It's well, the summer of Sabrina. Will did you did say espresso? You called. I said that it. months ago. I was gonna say. I remember. Like, I told him. I'm like, oh, I heard this new song. He said that's gonna be the song in the summer. It had to be like April or May. It had to be. It was a while ago. I'm a genius. You are. You must do something with music. <laughs> must be very exciting for you to be sitting here next to me every day. It's gonna be very exciting. Like you're a genius. I just wanted to like morph into me. You know, the other song that I really do like too. Uh, Post Malone. You, you know, a lot of people will see Post Malone and go, oh, I don't really care for his music. Post Malone is so good. The song with him, I love his music. Him and Morgan Wallen is such a, a is, is really just such a good song too. It's even if you're not into you know maybe many of Post Malone's songs, it's a really good song too. And there's a lot of like we're saying it's, it's Sabrina Carpenter and Espresso, and that's what they're saying. But there are so many different genres of music. Yes. Whether it's whether it's a hip hop song that's come out, and that could be the song of the summer for for, for somebody. Is there a song that you remember growing up that you would say was the song of the summer for you? Yeah. So I was playing it for you guys this morning, Ella. UFO, yes. Um, Summer Girl. Those guys were local guys. They were local guys. I was uh, like obsessed with them when I was in high school. Right. And uh, yeah, I actually like made a summer playlist the other right. day. That was a top song on it. That was a song on what it. About you know, you? Brandon was saying this morning, and I have to, I, I agree with him too. Uh, the uh, Brandon the, perked right uh, up. He perked right up. <laughs> um, Summertime by, by by Will Smith Smith and DJ Jazzy Jeff. That DJ Jazzy song. Jess. <laughs> Je Jess. Yes. Yes. Oh, she'll love that. Yeah, she will. <laughs> DJ Jazzy Jess. <laughs> yes. From 92 Pro FM. Yes. And the Fresh Prince, of course. But yeah, there's so many songs that really just uh, make you feel summer. Right. It's one thing to just, you know, hear a song. It's another to really feel it. Right. You know, and you guys had some good ones right there. By the by the way, I used to perform under the name Shabuzi. I don't <laughs> oh, usually talk about this, but, you know, and he has the name now. <laughs> Secrets out. I don't. I want this to be a litigation-free summer, but. Secrets out. It's his now. Also, yeah, I want to make this very clear to everyone right now. The fact that this espresso song is big, you know what I'm about to say. I now, let this be a reminder that the word is espresso. It's not expresso. <laughs> all right? I, you know? And by the way, Hemingway's, not Hemingway's. <laughs> There's no G in Hemingway's and there's no X in espresso. It's been building up. Have a I lot. made myself clear? Yes, perfectly. You needed to get this off. Need to get it off his chest. Oh, boy, you have no, you have no idea. It's a summer dog. Where's Yogi Bear? Ah. Oh. Um, and yeah, so lots of good summer songs. Uh, you know, hot fun in the summertime. I looked up a few of them Big. right That's here. That's a good one. And uh, summer in the city, the love and spoonful. Oh, yes. I mean, are you kidding uh -huh. me? Anyone tuning in right now? What happened to his jacket? <laughs> Did he forget it at home? It's like Superman. He, got, he was irate. About yeah, I was some uh, furious. You know, I'm a stickler for good grammar, of course. <laughs> but uh, also, oh, and Metallica, Lords of Summer. Not really a classic, but for me, my favorite.
thank you. Let's check in with our viewers to see what you have to say about this topic. I've gone casual on a Tuesday. Kathy's up first. Oh, Kokomo, come on. Oh, that's a good yes. one. Yes, Ruba, beach. Jamaica. <laughs> Ooh, I want to take you <laughs> to Key Largo, <laughs> Montego, baby. Why don't we go to Pawtucket? Yes. How about that? Yes. <laughs> and then she uh, adds, actually, anything by the Beach Boys. She's right. Mark adds his favorite, In the Summertime by Mungo Jerry. Yes. In the summer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Audrey was perplexed. Did you see my face? <laughs> I didn't totally know. It was a confused face. Next one, a great one. Lori shares a great one. Summer of 69 mm -hmm. by Brian Adams. Awesome. When Brendan Kirby got his first real six string. And Marlene closes out the comments today with her favorite, Summer Breeze yeah. by oh, yeah. Seals and Crofts. Takes oh, me away. Yeah. Love that right there. <laughs> Fantastic. Whenever I hear the name Seals and Crofts, I'm reminded of an old joke by a comedian named George Miller, friend of David Letterman. He used to say, whenever I hear the name Seals and Crofts, I, I rem, I'm reminded of the time I once introduced them as arts and crafts. <laughs> this is a classic old joke. Good stuff. Thanks for chiming in, everyone. Follow us at The Road Show. And you never know, a jacketless Brendan Kirby may read your comment right here on the air. Where, Where is that fitting room? It's got to be around here somewhere. I'm going to take it. <laughs>